to you. You're detained right now for job lifting, okay? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. I'll take this. I'll take this. Sorry. 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 Dr. Melissa Ivers was the Associate Chief Medical Officer for the University of New Mexico Health System. She was making nearly $300,000 a year. Mm. She decided to shop at Target. Loss Prevention observed her stealing from the store multiple times over the last few months. That is So basically they're paying the long game. These people are tired of taking losses, so they make sure they're going to try to stack the deck against you so they could level you. Police decided to arrest her. Let's take a seat here. Yes. Do you have a, an Thank idea you. on you? Uh, so as you see, it doesn't matter if you're big or small or whatever money you make. If you could get away with not paying, hey, why not? I don't. Let's see. No, I do not. Okay. I have it in my car. Okay. Let me see you. Look. Okay. There's, there's an older case. There's What's it? Lying right there. <laughs> What's your last name, man? Ivers. I V E R S. This is quick. Slowly, okay? I V. I V E R. If you notice, there's no resistance from her because she knows she done fucked up. R S. What's your first name? Melissa. M E L I S S A. She's making over 300,000 a year. <laughs> She's stealing. Shit. Do you know why you're in this office right now? Yes. Okay. What's your social? Uh There's somebody expecting you at home right now, kids, yes. husband. I have, a, I have an ex-spouse. Okay. I'm gonna tell you, like I told you when we we're coming in, you're detained right now for a job lifting investigation, okay? So we're gonna see where's the total. And I'm gonna be very transparent with you. They have more cases uh, work against you, okay? So basically they was building a case against her. And the case that they're building against her, they're gonna probably hit her with gland law if if they're nice maybe they they give her a slap on her wrist and if they want to be an a-hole then they could just bring further charges because she have a history of stealing i have seen that face I, if, if i have a dollar for everything that i see that face I, uh -huh. I, should, I wouldn't be doing this yeah so they'll give me all the information okay. and i'll explain you everything what's going on okay, okay. i just want to do a quick pat down because okay. i noticed that you were yeah. reaching your pockets uh -huh. Actually, he's not supposed to search her. The female officer is supposed to search her, but I guess it is what it is. Okay. Lean forward for me, please. You know how embarrassing this is? Thanks. I'm gonna remove this from you. Okay. You guys good? Yeah. Okay. She's breathing off heavy because she's embarrassed. I mean, shit is crazy, man. Like, when you get caught, you know, it, it's, it's embarrassing. She's so nervous. She's probably nervous because, like, fuck, she about to lose her job. And her career is about to go down the toilet because of all this stealing she's been doing over the past couple of months. This is part one. Part two coming up. You use any type of narcotics, man? No, not no. Okay. Do you have to take any medications? No. If you see straight, you're probably gonna be able to. They're gonna make a, a big sorry, point man. of. If you see straight. They're going to make an example out of her. It's not a matter of, so what? what's the point of arresting someone who's stealing necessities when there's more serious crime? A crime is a crime. It doesn't matter if it's big or small. It's just how a person's perception of it is. A crime is a crime. You could take a candy. If you didn't pay for it, it's stealing. You're going to be able to repair it. 
sorry, say that again. If you sit straight, I would probably like lean against the wall if you have to. And then you don't know what a situation. Just because she be making three hundred thousand for the year, you don't know if her expenses is more than the average. She have an ex husband living with her. I mean, like you don't know what this person's situation is. They probably spending more than they make. Who knows? Probably she got to pay student loan back too, plus mortgage, plus a whole bunch of other shit. So who knows? They should have 911 on on site because this lady look like she about to pass the fuck out. She's a doctor and she needs a doctor. I think if it's the first time they should make a slide but if she has a, a, a history of doing it after she got a slide then she should be locked up but I think they should just give her a pass and just make her pay for the stuff that she paid plus put points on it if you ask me that's just my opinion you're gonna be under arrest for choplifting okay okay within, within the last 90 days mm. you've been <laughs> catching camera choplifting around 940 dollars which is in New Mexico, is a felony. Okay. Oh my God. So, um, you also is gonna be criminal trespass from the property. I'll give you a copy in a second. Okay. Oh, that's so, a do me a favor, stand up for me, please. Face away, face away from me. Put your hands behind you. You can fix your pants. Okay. Put your hands behind your back and put it, your hands together like you pray. Put your hands together like you pray. Okay. I already asked you this, you said you don't have any weapons, but I'm going to ask you again, do you have any weapons? No, do you have any evils on you? What's going to happen? Well, you're going to jail right now. Oh, God. Okay? You're going to jail. Uh, you're going to be charged with felony uh, child abuse right now. Okay? This is almost so flat. This shit is embarrassing. We'll search you outside, okay? Okay. Uh, what do you think? I have every the Miranda I will ask the second. I have the new Miranda in the car for the you have to pay or whatever it is. I I have the old one my book. Car still from other side. Okay. Okay, some point is if you don't if you're gonna steal, at least do it every now and then. I mean I don't condone stealing, but that's if you don't have it. And I still don't condone it. But if you got to do what you got to do, you got to do what I do. If you get away with it, don't make it a habit. But what she did, she kept on doing it. And they kept on marking her because she kept on coming back to the same location. And this is why she got caught. She's a thief, but not a smart one because she got caught. You should have just did it every now and then and kept it pushing. But she got comfortable. And when people get comfortable, this is the result. He's going to prison uh, and she's getting a, a felony.